What's going on guys? So in preparation for San Diego Comic Con going on next week, Forbes has released pictures of the three DC Super Heroes 2018 sets that are reported on about a month ago. Before we get into it, I would like to say if you want to stay up to date with LEGO leaks, reviews, and news, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll be sure to keep you filled in. Without further ado, let's jump right into the first set. This is going to be set 76096 Superman Crypto Team Up. Uh, this is the one that comes with Lobo. This is obviously the big draw for this set. Uh, I think his space bike looks pretty good. Uh, they could have beefed it up a little bit more, I think, because uh, I've seen some really badass designs in the comics, but this does look pretty good. It is worth mentioning it's got those stud shooters on it, and I know that's going to kind of piss off some of the adult collectors, because they don't really look that good, but in this case, in this case, I think they mesh well with the design. Uh, the Lobo minifigure looks pretty good. I can't quite tell if that's a new hairpiece or not, but I'm leaning toward that it is. This is the first time we're also seeing Crypto the Superdog in Lego form. I think it looks pretty good. I, I was first thinking that it might be just a recolor of a Scooby-Doo mold from a couple years back, but upon closer inspection, it's all new molds and we also get a little uh, cape to put on his back. Um, we also do get a Superman minifigure. I don't think it's anything new, no new hairpiece, no new prints or anything. Uh, and we also get some sort of crypto, kryptonite looking build in the back. Nothing special there, but it is nice that we get it. The article says that these sets are priced from $20 to $40, and this is the smallest out of the three, so I'm guessing that this one is going to be $20, which I think is a pretty good value for two, I guess you could say two new minifigures and some pretty decent builds. This next set is set 76097 Lex Luthor Mech Takedown. This set blows the original set 6862 Superman vs. Uh, Power Armor Lex Luthor completely out of the water. This one's way bigger, way cooler looking, and it's got a way better minifig selection. You're going to be getting Cheetah, Lex Luthor, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Firestorm. I think the Firestorm minifigure looks pretty damn cool with that uh, flaming headpiece. And the Cheetah minifigure, I think, does the comic book character justice. We're getting a new Lex Luthor there. I don't think that's a new face print, but it is a new body. Wonder Woman doesn't... There doesn't look like there's anything new on her, but Batman looks like he does have a new body print. The mech itself looks pretty good. I like the whole color scheme. It really pops with the bright greens and the dark purplish-bluish color. And uh, all, the, all the little studs and glowy parts on it look really cool. And the gold accents really bring it all together. Whatever little Batman build that is off to the side is a little questionable, but I think it really gets made up by the minifig selection and the Lex Luthor mech in this set. This final set is set 76098 Speed Force Freeze Pursuit. <laughs> Try saying that ten times fast, you can't. Uh, this is going to be the one that uh, had Cyborg Helicopter in it. And like I said, all the leaks that I read off about a month ago completely delivered. So shout out to Delta Customs over on Instagram for getting these leaks to the community. The set itself looks okay. I think, in all honesty, the freeze cart or whatever off to the right looks better than the cyborg helicopter. Um, the build for the cyborg helicopter doesn't look anything special. I feel like we get a lot of helicopters in LEGO and another one, even if it does have a cyborg theme, really isn't standing out that much to me. The freeze car or whatever off to the right does have some cool little elements on it, some cool frost uh, pieces, and um, I think the Killer Frost minifigure accents it pretty well. But the Killer Frost minifigure itself, I think they might have dropped the ball a little bit on it, because I've seen some really cool designs of her from comic books, and I think they kind of chose the most kind of toned down design for this one. And uh, not saying it's a bad minifigure, but I don't think they really got uh, the full potential of what that character could have been in Lego form. We also get another Flash minifigure, and I don't think that's anything new there. Uh, the Cyborg minifigure might have a new body print, but it looks pretty similar to the one that we got in the Lego Dimensions pack a couple years ago. And the Reverse Flash minifigure is a welcome addition to this set. Uh, no new molds or anything, but it is a completely new character exclusive to this set. Uh, there's a little net off to the side. I'm not sure if that's something that drops out of Cyborg's helicopter or what. Uh, I don't really know what play features are in these sets right now or not. Uh, these pictures like just got leaked, and we'll see more uh, next week at San Diego Comic Con. And I'll be sure to update you guys as soon as more information comes out. So keep it tuned here for those LEGO leaks, reviews, and news. 
So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think these sets are solid? Do you think the minifigures are solid and the sets aren't so solid? Like we see a lot with uh, these superhero sets. You think the value's good? Be sure to let me know down in the comments and let's get some conversation started. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. And if you haven't seen my top five Lego themes that need to come back video, be sure to check it out. I'll throw an annotation at the end of the video, put a lot of work into it, and I think you guys will really like it. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.